gang, here we are, last problem test review for exam one. This is problem number five. This kind of looks 3D, doesn't it? As a matter of fact, this is a 3D moment problem, okay? So a board supports an awning over a door. There's the board right there. The force in the board is 57 pounds. So the board is like propped up holding the awning up. So it's pushing up the force 57 pounds. What is the moment that it produces about point A? Where's point A? Point A is way over there, okay? So what's the moment about point A? Okay, so the moment about A, okay? 3D problem, what are we gonna use? 3D problems, I'm gonna say, y'all need to use R cross F, man, R cross F. Here we go, R cross F. All right, so let me get another color here. Okay, so one of the things that you need to remember at this point is what the heck is R, okay? R is a position vector that goes from the point you're taking a moment about to the line of action of the force. Okay, since we're taking the moment at A, it's gonna start at A and it has to go to the line of action of the force. So it can go from A to D, because here's the force, right? Okay, there he is. We'll call him F. B for force of the board, right? There's the force of the board. So we can either go from A to D or we can go from A to E. Either one is just fine. Well, let's go to A to D, okay? What do you think? So there is my vector R, okay? Well, how do you write vector R? Well, it goes from A to D, right? So we're gonna do D minus A. And remember, so vector R as a position vector is how you get to grandma's house. You live there, grandma lives there, how do you get there? Okay? Well, let's 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 put some uh, let's put some coordinates up here. And let's just um, there's not a coordinate system given, so we can just do any coordinate system we want. Let's do it down here on the floor, on the ground. I think that'll be easiest, right? So let's say that this is Y, this is X and this is Z, okay? All right, so point D, point D. What is point D? Point D is here. I wanna do A first. So in A, I gotta go in the X, I gotta go uh, zero in the X, okay? Because here's the origin back here, right? This is just above the origin. I, how much in the Y do I have to go? Like my Y needs to go this way. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. How much in the Y do I have to go? Um, if this is the origin, I gotta go in the negative Y, 45. And in the Z, in the Z, I gotta go up 90 plus six more, 96. Okay. And then how about point D right there? In the X, I gotta go out, um, ooh, 36, don't I? And in the Y, um, zero, right? It's in the X, it's above the XY plane. And then in the Z, I gotta go up 90, okay? So let's see, 36 minus zero is 36. And then zero minus a minus 45 is a plus J hat. And then 90 minus 96 is minus six K hat, okay? That's an easy way to do it, and that is R, uh, what do we call it, AD. Totally rad, man. Okay, and you could have done that in your head, right? I've gotta go, I've gotta go uh, out 36 in the uh, X to go from here to here. I gotta go in the Y, I gotta go 45, and then I gotta go down six. So. But this is an easy way to do it, just one point minus the other one, okay? Now, Johnny Weak Sauce right here, what would he do? I'm gonna divide that by the magnitude, no. No, no, no. Because that means that if you divide it by itself, then this vector is gonna be magnitude one. Grandma doesn't always live one away. The distance from here to here is not necessarily just one, okay? So there's vector R, done. What about vector F? What about vector F? Well. I think we can do vector f the exact same way, because look, down here, there's this little lambda hat vector, and that's lambda hat ed. 
Okay. So do we know how to calculate lambda ed? Heck yeah. Okay. So if to calculate lambda hat ed, you simply do d minus e. Now luckily, luckily, we already know the quartz point d. It's right there. So 36, 0, 90. So we got to come up with the coordinates point e down here. So we got to go out in the x, 60. In the y, we got to go negative 8. And in the z, where is the z? Well, it's zero. It's on the floor, right? Let the bodies hit the floor. Okay, here we go. 36 minus 60. Oh, it's late in the day and my head's tired. 36 minus 60. Negative 24. Okay, so negative 24, I hat. Minus a minus 8 is a plus 8, J hat. And then 90 minus 0 is 90, K hat. Okay, now this one, because well, what we're trying to do is we're find, trying to find F, right? So vector F is equal to the magnitude times the direction, right? And the magnitude is given, it's 57. And then the, the uh, lambda hat, well, we're fixing to find that, aren't we? So divided by 24 squared plus 8 squared plus 90 squared. How much is that? 24 squared plus 8 squared. Well, that's not a square. Squared plus 90 squared equals 8740. And then the square root of that is 93.5. Four, nine. So here comes my lambda vector, right? 24 divided by 93.49 equals 0.257. Okay, and it's negative, positive, positive, right? So this guy's going to be negative. Here comes the positive. 8 divided by 93.49, boom, 0.086. 0.086 J hat. One more. 90 divided by 93.49 equals 0.963. Okay. Whoop. We better put a on there. Okay. Now, if we multiply that stuff out, then we'll have our F vector, our 3D F vector. Here we go. 0.257 times 57 is. 16.65. That's I hat, and that's a negative, isn't it? Negative. 0 0.086 times 57 equals 4.90. One more. 0 0.963. 0 0.963 times 57. 54.89. I, J, K hat. Okay. And that whole thing is um, pounds, isn't it? The force vector is in pounds. And the this vector here is in inches. Okay. That's important to remember because when I do a moment, now I'm going to have inch pounds, right? I need to know those units. Okay, let's erase this. Let's put a matrix. Let's solve this. Okay, team, here we go. Let's build our matrix, okay? Okay. I hat, J hat, K hat, the moment about point A is equal to, here we go. And it's R goes there, F goes there. It's not F cross R, no siree, it's R cross F. So we have 36, 45, and negative 6, okay? And in the F, I've got these guys, negative 16.65, 4.90, and 54.89, okay? So here we go. Lots of parentheses so we don't make a mistake with our math. Okay, cover up the I hat, what do you got? You got 45 times 54.89 minus, right? Minus six times 4.90. That's I hat, minus here comes the J hat at you. Cover up the J, right? 
36 times 54.89. Minus, uh, what, negative 6 times negative 16.65. Now remember the middle one's negative, and then we go back to positive one more time. And cover up the k-hat, cover up the k-hat, and I get 36 times 4.9 minus 45 times negative 16.65, and there it is, okay? So what's left to do? Just crunch some numbers. Let's crunch some numbers here. 45 times 54.89 is 2470, and then 6 times 4.9 29.4, but there's a negative and a negative, which makes it a positive, right? 29.4. So those two together, right, plus 2470 is going to be 2499. I hat, okay? And then what do I got? I got 36 times... 54.8989, that's 1976, and then 6 times 16.65 is 99.9, .9. and then a negative and a negative make a, make a positive, but then this negative takes it back to a negative, right? So 1976 minus... 99.9, 1976.1, and then this negative over here takes it back to negative. So minus 1876.1 J hat. One more. 36 times 4.9 is 176.4, and then 45 times 16.65 is 749.25. And that's going to be negative, right? Negative. But then this negative makes it go back to positive. So plus uh, 176.4 equals 925.65. And that is inch pounds, okay? Now, you might think those are big numbers, but remember, those are in inches. So you could, you could divide by 12 and turn them into uh, feet if you'd like, and that would make them a more uh, reasonable number, put it in foot pounds, but you get the exact same answer. Okay, do you understand how to use R cross F? My recommendation is when you get your 3D problem, use your R cross F. Identify what is R, what is F, put it in a matrix, turn the crank, boom, there's your answer. Okay, that's all of test one. Since we got 100 on test one, let's start studying for exam number two.